Hey guys, today we are going to be doing a haircut. Today we are going to be doing an 09G transmission on a Passat. It's not here anymore because I already finished it. Um, this I don't. I did as much as I could. I was kind of getting frustrated. Just wanted to get it done, and I tried to get some important stuff. So hopefully this helps out with anybody that needs to remove an 09G. Um, it's really similar to most, I think, it's, you know, just removing a transmission on any of these cars, DSG. Um, cool. So some of this is going to be me, uh, oh, talking over, dubbing this or whatever you call it, uh, to do, I don't know, because some of the stuff I didn't really talk. So go ahead and just start with the basics right now. We're just going to move the intake and battery and battery cover and all that stuff. All right, so you have your 13 on the other side of the battery here. This is the bracket looks like. Take that off, then you can remove your battery. <clears throat> then you need to remove your battery, battery, uh, I don't know what the holder thing. <laughs> It's got three 10 millimeters holding it on. Go ahead and lift it up through the back. And just fish this one. You just kind of do it like this, rotate it up and out like this, and get it past those. I'm gonna try to capture everything on here, but this one is quite a bit more. I don't know if you've looked at the manual video or the the DSG. I mean, it's not more work. It's just different. So you kind of do the same as <clears throat> the rest of them. I don't really like, it's like a flathead underneath the end part that's connected to the, there. And then that just pops right off. Go ahead and grab some needle nose or something for when you pinch the side of this piece right here. So there's two little tabs coming. And then you can lift this out of the way. Somehow, yeah. try to get your screwdriver in there again, and then this will lift right up after you pinch those. And that's out of the way, and then go ahead and remove the uh, shifter uh, sensor, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> go ahead and remove this ground right here. Into the bracket. So 
pull the red tab back and then just undo it like every other one. Pull the sleeve back here. And then go ahead and undo your starter positive. Pull I'm gonna go ahead and do the top starter bolt. Put them in here. Be very careful of these coolant lines because they break super easy, these ones right here. So be very careful. That's one starter bolt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out of the way. So here's gonna be the tricky part. You have your coolant lines for the cooler, for the transmission. And you have the actual transmission. Uh, so you have the cooler lines and then you have the other cooler lines. So this is where the coolant goes. This is where the transmission fluid goes. goes. It's in these metal lines over here. There's two of them, right? So what you're going to do is I recommend buying some pinch off. First, relieve your pressure and your undo your um, radiator cap and then just screw it back on. And recommend get some pinch off uh, hose clamps here. both of these hoses. Undo, and all the way back here, you can undo the shift linkage. You just gotta pop that out of its uh, little bracket here so you can pull this out of the way. Uh, okay, so then now that some, all those are pinched off, I'm gonna go ahead and undo the coolant, the clamps for it. And one thing you don't want to do, so these are the I'm struggling to capture all this. So what you don't want to do is get on here with a pair of pliers and squeeze this because these are aluminum. It'll get a hole very easy. So what you want to do is get a pick in here and then just go ahead and free it up. Kind of work around it. It'll come out. Now you're gonna lose a little bit of coolant. Nothing too crazy. Okay, now that's off and out of my way right there. Ish. Go ahead and tuck this one out of the way. screws in there, you got a couple on the bottom. Put that down. Go ahead and remove your belly pan. Piping right here. Oh. Which is a mine's facing upwards, so uh, it's a seven millimeter. These these uh ugh, these clamps for these these worm clamps. And this 
this one's trying to fall apart on me. And just go ahead and get your flathead. Go underneath the boot. This also came falling down when I pulled it. This goes to the bottom of your intake. This fell down when I pulled the uh, belly pan off. This is like a drain tube, so it's not that important. Now that you got that undone, go ahead and undo for this turbocharger pipe right here. There's a two Torx 30s holding on. Then go ahead and pull your connectors off your transmission here. There's two of them down here. And then go ahead. So right here. Go ahead and there's a 13 for this bracket right here that bolts to the starter. Go ahead and pull that off. Then you can pull this bracket off. Then you can get to your last starter bolt up here. You can't really capture that. It's right here. There it is. Okay, so right there is your 18. Last starter bolt. Okay, so this is the intercooler pipe I was talking about. There's a T30 right here, and then there's one like slightly above where the nap sensor plugs in. Um, okay, so what can we do next? Go ahead and uh, remove your dog bone. So you got the two 16s and a 21. And then you go ahead and take your 16s off down here. Get this one off, this one off, and there's one here above the dog bone. So go ahead and take your dog bone off. Go ahead and take your lower control arm bolts off. Now oh, I gotta pull that wheel off on that side too. Three over here. We got three over here. So go ahead and you can just pull down on this to get that out of the way. And same thing on the other side. Pull down on that to pull it out of the way a little bit. You also have this shield up here. Let's go ahead and remove that. This is two 16s also. 
you don't really have to remove it, but. So here's your axle. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is stick a, a flathead in here. You got a couple off. So go ahead, if you have a pry bar, you just stick it in here and give it a good pry. Okay, see so that's not working. Go ahead and put your thing here that you want to use and give it a tap. There you go, your axle's free. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, got both my axles free. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the torque converter bolts. So go ahead and move this out of the way as best as you can without, unless you want to fully remove it. So up here, uh, all the way up here, I'm trying to get that thing off here. And then, so this will be the back side of where you, your flex plate. And then you'll see there's one torque converter bolt. These are a weird random size, they're a 15 millimeter. So go ahead and grab a 15 and get that bed draw off. Get loose and switch to this. And go ahead and do it till you got all. I don't know how many, I think there's six. Let's find out. So now you hear this like, you hear that noise, the, oh, let me just spin it over. That kind of bell sound, that means you got them all. So it's now free. So the reason you want to uh, undo those, if you don't, your torque converter stays in the engine and or on the engine and then all your fluid leaks out and then on top of that, you can't put it back on with the torque converter on the engine because then because it, it goes in a certain position, the uh, uh so oh man, I just messed up my face. <laughs> um, so what happens is if you have your torque converter and you leave it on there and you go to put it back on, your torque converter is splined in a specific way, like it locks in, and if you don't and you just push it together, you're gonna destroy your transmission pump and it's gonna be ruined. So that's why you want to take those off. So I'm going to go ahead and so the next thing you got to do is pretty much drop the transmission. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the subframe. Uh, you don't have to remove the subframe if you got a nice tranny jack or something. Uh, but just for simplicity and making this the easiest way possible without interfering with anything and getting stuck, I'm just going to go ahead and drop the subframe.
go ahead and uh, yeah. So you can bungee cord your sway bar out of the way or take it all the way off. It's up to you. Well, I gotta take this one all the way off. Okay, so now that's on the way, you're ready to drop the transmission. I'll show you what needs to be done so I, so I got it separated and now So go ahead and make sure it's all the way seated in. See mine came out a little bit and then when I push it in, then when I pumped it, it actually pushed some fluid out. But the fluid that you're gonna lose on here isn't enough to have to fill anything back up. You just lose a little bit from the lines when you initially do it. Um, so basically when I was separating the transmission from the engine, you wanna go in between the flex plate, which is up here, and the torque converter. And you want to get your, after you separate it enough to get your screwdriver in there or whatever you're using, you want to pry the engine apart with, make sure this is going with the engine because you don't want this to stay behind because if it does, then uh, all your torque converter falls out and then all your fluid comes out or a ton of fluid comes out and makes a giant mess. So go ahead, get your pry tool in here. You can also, there's a little hole right here with a starter ring. So the starter ring is part of the torque converter that can kind of help you as you're pulling it apart, kind of hold the torque converter on the engine. And then, so totally flush uh, or totally like installed, these these threads are just a little recessed past the face. I'd say by uh, two or three, maybe five millimeters. Uh, that's when you know it's completely flush. If it's sticking out anything past this, uh, so basically my finger to the end of the threads hit just the face of this. So about a finger length or whatever width. Um, and if it's not, then you need to keep spinning it and pushing it on, and then it'll clunk 
if you somehow your torque converter falls off, it'll click three times or like clunk, clunk. You know, you'll get, you just gotta keep spinning it and pushing and keep doing it until you get it all the way seated. Cause if you don't and you bolt your engine together, you're gonna destroy your transmission. Okay, that's that. <laughs> oh, and also these are the coolant lines that run to the top of the transmission right here. So the two metal pipes that were running over the top, um, these had the two 10, the Torx, uh, sorry, the 12 point, um, 10 mils. And what I did after I took them off, I just got under here with my pry bar and I just wiggled them and then they popped right off. And you lose a little bit of fluid, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna pop this flex plate off and do the rear main. And here's the uh, flex plate. I already had pulled it off and replaced the rear main, but these bolts and there's a little washer here, you just go ahead and remove those. Um, this only goes on one way, so all your holes will line up only one way. So just go ahead and keep spinning it if you lose orientation. And then same thing with this little ring here. But it's, you can see there's four, four and there's like a gap in between. I guess it's, it's kind of hard. It's like really small and hard to see, but uh, that's how it is. All right, so here comes another tricky part is you have to line the torque converter holes or the bolts for it to the flex plate. So what I do is I just uh, look relative. I get the hole that's open over there so you can see and then uh, where you take the nuts off. And then uh, you just start going up. I just want to fall forward on it really bad though. It's kind of annoying. And then you just gotta look underneath while you're sliding back together and make sure that you're where you need to be. Oh my God. Need like a ratchet strap for this. Something. And then, so what you're gonna do is just, uh, you're gonna have to just lay underneath it and line up your, like I said, your torque converter holes. And then once you get them all lined up, you just push the engine together. Or, sorry, the transmission door. And then I went ahead and I pushed the trans the torque converter up to the, you know, the tranny up to the flex plate. And then I just spun it at the starter gear. And if you're at the perfect level with the transmission and engine, you can't be tilted or anything. You have to be level on both ends. And then you just spin it by the starter teeth on the bottom with the flathead. And then it'll just, you'll feel it, it'll slide. You'll see it when you look from the backside. You'll see it'll just slide in. So now I just need to bolt this together. see up here see there's my gap but you also you can't really pull your transmission together so I'm just using it kind of as a guide uh, these bolts here so that way when I go under there and I push it then it kind of just pops into place and then you can tighten them you don't want to pull the transmission together with the engine because um, you can damage things so you just got to make sure they're fully mated together before you tighten any bolts
Hey guys, today we are going to be doing a haircut. Today we are going to be doing an 09G transmission on a Passat. It is not here anymore because I already finished it. Um, this I don't. I did as much as I could. I was kind of getting frustrated. Just wanted to get it done, and I tried to get some important stuff. So hopefully this helps out with anybody that needs to remove an 09G. Um, it's really similar to most, I think, it's, you know, just removing a transmission on any of these cars, DSG. Um, cool. 